Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about Search Operator in Kusto. Search Operator provides multi-table or multi-column search experience. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here we have a database called the Tech Brothers DB, and then we have some tables here. So I have a especially the table uh, total sale and total sale Asia. These are the two tables we are going to use them a lot because I have uh, inserted a data in these tables and then uh, written the query according to the, these tables. Um, I will put this uh, uh, table definition in um, uh, description and also the data ingestion query in the description so you can use it uh, to create and uh, work on it. So search uh, first of all what we are interested uh, let's say in uh, uh, SQL server we don't have these type of searches where we say like oh let me find uh, this term across the databases or you have to write the cursors and then you have to loop through all the list of the tables and columns uh, to find out that but Kusto does provide you powerful uh, um, uh, search uh, capabilities um, so it, right, let's say if we are interested to find Amir in entire database in all the tables in all, every column so what we can do we can simply say search and then uh, the keyword uh, so in this case, uh, we are looking for uh, Amir and uh, cross uh, tech with DB and uh, for all the tables. So, so let's uh, take a look here. So first of all, it is returning us uh, this uh, customer table right there. And uh, then see right there, there is a customer name called Amir. So this is a case insensitive. So it's going to get us a small case or large, uh, uh, lower case uh, values as well. Uh -huh. Then uh, we found uh, out uh, there is a total sale Asia table that has a record right there. Then you have a total sale Asia with ID 12 you have right there. So there, these are the records coming from a total sale Asia table. Now there is another record uh, in total sale table and you can see right there as well. If you expand this a little bit uh, it's going to give you uh, this information and you can take a look as well there too. Okay. So mostly you're going to see the tabular format but in case you are interested more uh, into like a uh, see each record and uh, the values and other values in different columns uh, you can take a look um, okay so this was a uh, very uh, generic uh, where we would love to uh, search everything across the database uh, databases can be large size and maybe you are not interested to search uh, across databases instead of that you are only interested to see in one table so that's possible you will say the table name total sale in our case uh, then uh, you have a pipe sign, then you will say search and keyword uh, what you're looking for. So we are looking for arm error in the total sale table. Let's go for it. And uh, now we will see it is returning us uh, three records. Um, you can see that uh, it found uh, the arm error uh, keyword in sale person first name. Um, so that's what it is returning us. Uh, and uh, again, it is case insensitive. Uh, now, if we want to make it case sensitive, that's possible. So in this case, if you see total sale has three armors and we would love to only get to where it is exact matching with armor with lower case. So in that case, what you will do table name, pipe sign, search, kind is equal to case sensitive. And then you provide the key or that you would like you, uh, the word you would like to find. So in this case, we are finding armor. Let's execute and this time it is returning us only two records because now we are enforcing a case sensitivity. Okay, now if uh, you are uh, uh, running for uh, maybe multiple database, uh, sorry, multiple tables. Uh, so if you want to do search across multiple tables, that's possible as well. Uh, you will say search in uh, and then provide the list of the tables. Uh, in this case, I'm providing total sale Asia, comma, total sale. And then I'm looking for a keyword called Amir. So I can run this uh, statement across uh, multiple uh, tables. And it's going to return me the results. So, so you, you can see right there, some records are coming from the total sale and some records are coming from a total sale Asia, so wherever it finds the record. Okay, now what we would like to do, we would like to go further and uh, just uh, search in some column. So let's say if uh, I am in uh, this uh, table, total sale, and I would like to see if uh, my region contain uh, any word called south. So see right there is the south. So now I'm going to search for keyword south in the only uh, column region. So wherever it find the value is going to return me. So notice that there was only one record it found and that's what it is uh, returning. Okay. So now you can um, 
do more columns and all those kind of things wherever you would like to see. So your search is limited to the column level. Uh, now, if you would like to search uh, with the, you can use the wildcard and you can uh, have uh, some other options as well. You can have, uh, you know, has suffix, uh, has uh, uh, prefix and all those kind of things as well. Uh, okay, now let's say if we are interested uh, to see if uh, uh, any of the column in the total sale, any column uh, has asterisk, that means uh, anything, but also has HN after that. Uh, so if we are looking in all columns uh, in a total sale and looking for this, uh, that's what we are going to get. Um, so in this case, like HN, see right there, John, J-O-H-N. Now, if I will do, some, do something like IR, so let's see if we get more results. Um, so now you can see that the IR is there, you know, and then uh, uh, there could be other items as well. Let me see if uh, there is something. I'm trying to find more records uh, where I can show you guys. Uh, so let's, uh, in this case, uh, we did IR, anything IR, right? So if anything uh, ends with the uh, E, okay? So uh, that's uh, again, uh, anything uh, ends with, uh, let's say A or E. Yeah, we can do that as well. So let's see if it uh, doesn't matter, you know, whatever it is and but at the end we have also e okay so now you guys can see that uh, there are tons of records returned because france ends with e at the end europe you know so these columns and uh, this uh, column uh, totals uh, right here uh, right here this guy uh, city is ending with e so in uh, it's going to look for all the columns wherever the value and then uh, anything and then at the end uh, it is the ending with the e so if we are interested only in like CE, okay? So you now it's gonna get us uh, all the records where it is ends with the CE. So you can see right there, France, right? And uh, that's how you will be searching in all the columns uh, and uh, providing some uh, wildcards and all that. Now, if you're looking for a total sale, search for anything that's starting with A and then ends with anything uh, that is possible as well. And it's going to look for all the columns. So right here, you see that my name start with AA right here. So that's how it is. Okay, now what we will do, we will go further and say, if we want to just have more like a like operators and search, uh, have, can have anything on the left side, then this keyword, then anything on the right side, that's possible. So asterisk, then keyword, the, the characters we are looking for, then S to get the end. So now this is going to be our like operator. But uh, for all the columns in that specific uh, table, um, so you can see uh, there's a two uh, right there. So Tony, and uh, then uh, there could be because of a uh, laptop, TOP right there. So TO. So this is getting us all the records. Um, so depending upon it is looking for every column. Okay. Now, if you want to do more regex, you can do that. You want to say like, oh, anything starting with PA, then can have anything in the middle and then ends with S. So that's possible. So you go for that and you're looking in the table, total sale, but all the columns. So let's just see what we have right there. Paris, right? P-A-R-I-S, right? That's one of the things. So you can change whatever you want. So maybe you are looking for something else. Now, in this case, if we are saying anything starting with, uh, let's say P, okay? Only P, see right there, there are tons of P's, uh, P for Patel, and uh, then uh, then uh, P for Punjab. So these are different uh, values should be there. And then we can search uh, for ending with the L. So if we do just L, it's gonna return anything starting with P and uh, ending with L, see right there. So we have a P starting for P, ending for L. So that's what it is getting. If we say uh, J now, um, actually we should be doing, uh, let's say we do B. Now we are gonna find all the records. We have to start with P and whatever can have in the middle and then ends with B. So like Punjab right there, okay? So uh, you can do all those regics here and uh, get the search done across multiple columns for your table. Now, if you are interested in more uh, like, oh, search in a column, uh, you want to do search uh, in specific column, sale person, first name, matches, regex, IR. So I'm looking for uh, 
IR anywhere wherever IR is the so see IR is here Chirag Amir so it is in the middle here it is ending here with the IR so you can use the matches the regex here and then provide the, the keys uh, characters you are looking for so you can uh, also do multiple criteria so in this case if uh, I'm looking for uh, in the total sale and I'm going to search uh, for uh, uh, Asia first. So let's see and then uh, once I found that record then I'm only looking for Lahore or Karachi. So in this case uh, think about this case. Let's run this query. Now it got me all the records uh, where uh, it has Asia first. Uh, so it got me all these records with different countries and everything uh, but now after that I'm putting and uh, so it means I have to I'm looking for Lahore or Karachi. So from it's gonna filter these uh, uh, existing records are uh, depending on this criteria after that uh, so if I run together it's gonna return me where it find Asia first uh, and then uh, it has the uh, cities or uh, any other things like uh, Karachi and Lahore uh. so execute that one so you find right there Asia and then it uh, found us uh, this records uh, which has Lahore or Karachi now you can go further here and uh, you can use or operator and uh, something like that as well can be used so you can, uh, depending on your criteria or uh, what you want to look for, you can do that. Uh, now, if uh, you, you want to filter by IDs or something like that, you can do that as well. So here we are looking for uh, records uh, which has Asia. So in this case, we have the Asian region uh, and then uh, we are interested uh, to find uh, where a uh, sold item is greater than or uh, ID is less than seven. So see right there, uh, we can uh, do that as well. So we can uh, run our query. So anything is, is or, so anything is, uh, this is, uh, if this is valid, it's gonna return us records, or even if this is valid, it's gonna return us records. Uh. So it's gonna find us all the records uh, which are Asia, and then uh, see the item sold is greater than one. So it means all of these items sold, sorry, are greater than uh, one, these are returned, and uh, or uh, ID is greater than seven. In this case, even ID is five, but uh, this term was true, so that's why it was a return. If we do and, then it's going to specifically uh, look for that. And uh, that will make sure, uh, see right there, there is only one record that matches with the, uh, this criteria. So Asia, found the Asia, yes. And then uh, this criteria has to be met. Uh, so item sold has to be greater than one. That's true because it's two. And then ID has to be less than seven. Uh, so that's six. Uh, that's how it is. So you will use a uh, search uh, to search across the database across the different tables and uh, for different columns uh, and I hope uh, this video will help. Uh, I will put this all the code uh, in the description so you can uh, use it and play with it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.